here, the first down, Daryl Morris, and here's the real treacherous part. You got the putter now coming out in his own end of the field at about the 17-yard line to kick, and he's going to have to kick into this incredible wind, and uh, they're going to have good field position, will the Bobcats, unless, of course, the return man gets a little befuddled by the football that probably will look bizarre up there. Yeah, and this is going to be interesting. Muppet. So let's see what happens. The snap is back. The kick is a line drive wobbler gets up in the air and then just dies, and a fair catch is made. Smart move there by the Bobcats, Andy Erickson, and he gets the football at the Bobcats' 37-yard line. That's where they'll have it first and 10. Visitor call Double Dave's after the game or any time for fresh quality handcrafted pizza and pepperoni rolls. Double Dave is happy to serve you at 82nd and Iola. 8.35 left to play in the first half, 10-9, to 9, Texas State over the Red Raiders. We'll be back after these messages. This is the Texas Tech Sports Network from Learfield Sports. All right. You want to eat, huh? That's all we had. Bobcats with the football, first and 10 from their own 38-yard line. I guess the ball was blown forward a little bit. New quarterback, throw left side, it's incomplete, and that is Tyler Arns. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Texas Tech Sports Network. It'll be second down and 10 for the Bobcats. Cody Bettis tweets, wish they could mix in another mic to hear a little more ambient stadium noise. <laughs> I don't think you'd hear us at all. Maybe that's your point. <laughs> second down and 10 from the 38. And Art stays in there in the pistol, hands it off left side, and it's still Curry at running back. And he gets wrapped up by a swarm of Red Raiders at the 40-yard line, a pickup of only two. Great job that time by the Red Raiders defense. And in there to make that first hit was Kerry Hyder. And Sam Iguavin also in on the tackle, and there's another of those true freshmen playing for Chad Glasgow in that Red Raider defensive unit, a kid out of Garland who's only played organized football for a couple of years. He made his mark playing basketball at Lakeview Centennial High School, but the Red Raiders liked his athletic ability, and he has pushed for a starting role at linebacker. Third down, seven. They actually gave him the 41. And off Curry again. He tries the left side and then cuts it back to the middle of the field on the sprint draw type of a run, and he's not down at the 45. That's going to be four yards short of the first down marker. It'll be fourth down. Boy, you mentioned uh, Guavani. He, he is an interesting guy, and you look down at the field at him. He's got long sleeves on underneath his jersey. Now, when this game started, it was 95 degrees, sunny. He may have been the only guy on the, uh, on the team that read the weather report that what? it was going to cool down. Evidently watched the weather channel earlier today. Back to punt for the Bobcats is Ben Folis. This could go in the stand. He does the sprint rugby oh. style, though, and it's a line drive that hits the field and bounces easily into the end zone and out. And Zuzalik just watches it go by. 7.06 left in the first half after that 55-yard punt. The Red Raiders will have it first and 10 from their own 20 when we come back. It's 10-9, Texas State. We'll be back after these messages. 
today's game.